everyone, and welcome to The Well-Educated Artist. I'm so glad that you could join me today. We are going to be using an 8 by 8 wood panel piece here. I like to use those because you don't have to worry about how sturdy it is. It's always good and sturdy. It's just painted black. So that just gives us a background for our darker color that we're going to be having as a background today. We are going to be doing a pour with some really fun paints today. Now, I have used Arteza. This is their Galaxy Tones, their iridescent colors. And I just mixed it. With this time, I'm not using Floetrol and water. You absolutely could use Floetrol or any other pouring medium, but I'm going to be using Liquitex pouring medium for this. So my high dollar pouring medium for this one today. And that's because I have also mixed a glow in the dark paint as well, and it works really well with the Liquitex, and I know that. So I'm gonna let them all be Liquitex so that they can all be the same consistency. So I'm using Arteza, and I've got some really cute colors. I have the Dreamy Lemon Yellow, Iridescent. I have the Fairy Tale Blue, and let me show you Fairy Tale Blue, which I've already mixed. It has that wonderful flip-flop quality. They make flip-flop paints, but this is an iridescent, but it has the purple and the blue, which I just love. I think I have another paint that's actually made like that that's a flip-flop, but I love that color. So uh, then we also have, as I told you before, I have mixed a glow-in-the-dark blue. Now you can use a glow-in-the-dark paint, but they tend to be a little more chalky and they're not as translucent, but I'm trying for translucent, and because I'm trying for that, I am actually using this, which is a powder. You may have seen in another video where I have used powder. They come in a box and they're just powder colors. They work really great. They're powder pigments and they glow in the dark and they work better than other paints that are made specifically like craft paints. And you can put them with any kind of medium you want so you can get a little bit of higher quality and a lot of shine. So if you've seen my video on how to make glow in the dark skins, this is what I used and it, it also works really well for paintings. Now, I have also added you may have seen me use this before, Dragonfly Glaze. So what that's gonna do is give me that wonderful, shiny quality by adding the glaze. The glaze is just white, but it has these really cool colors, and this is not glittery, okay? It has a little bit of that glitter to it, but they're teeny, teeny, tiny pieces, not the big, chunky ones. So that's gonna give me a cool quality to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix this. I haven't mixed it yet. This is the Arteza Playful Pink. Now, it appears to be white but it is actually going to have an iridescent pink quality to it. You can kind of see that iridescence. Let's go ahead and put some in there. Don't want to overdo it. And you can see how iridescent it is, and we're just going to mix it into our medium. And it's still going to appear fairly white, so when it dries, that's where we're going to get that aha moment. But it has a very light pink tint to it. Now I have flip-flop paint that do pink and gold, but this one is just a super light iridescent pink, so it ought to be interesting what comes out of this. Okay. Now my base color that I'm going to be used, I keep moving because I've got my, my cake plate, so if I want to spin this, I can. I'm going to be using Prussian Blue, and this is Arteza Prussian Blue, and it is my Liquitex pouring medium. Now, I didn't put anything else in that. It is just my Prussian Blue and my Liquitex pouring medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down as a base. And it is watered down a little bit because I want it to be thin enough to go on. That should be plenty. Prussian Blue is such a nice color blue. Now I'm still using my trusty Bob Ross palette knife. If you notice, it's gotten really dirty. I need to clean the handle. Uh, I got this before uh, Bob Ross actually died and I just love using it. It's still great quality, uh, Bob Ross palette knife. Now, here we are and I'm just going to use my torch just for a second because this is newly mixed and when you have newly mixed paint, you tend to get bubbles. And actually, I'm gonna use that palette knife to see something in the paint. We don't want anything in the paint. And that'll just go right away. Okay. What a pretty blue that is. I absolutely love Prussian blue as a background. 
Okay, I'm going to be using a split cup. This is just 3D printed and it has four different sections and I'm going to have my four colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour those in. I don't need a lot of paint. This is a very small canvas at 8 by 8 uh, or board I should say. It's a very small wood panel at 8 by 8. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour my colors. And even though that looks like that's a tiny bit because these are just in bathroom cups, even though it looks like a tiny bit, it's really not. It almost fills that up completely. Now, what we're also going to do is use a strainer. So I'm going to put my strainer down as in the middle as I can. So we're going to start with a strainer. So we're using all kinds of things here today. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add my paint. And see how much paint that didn't look like a lot of paint, but it's actually quite a lot of paint. You could have done a bigger canvas with that amount of paint. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead Give it a second so we can already see that pretty iridescence. I don't want to lose all of my Prussian blue here. I hope I don't lose it. I'm just going to lift that up. Oh, Prussian blue in the center. Wasn't expecting that, but that's kind of cool. Came up through the center. May get some really pretty skins from this as well. We may have to add some plush and blue back into this, we'll see. So I'm just going to give this a little spin. And I have, I've lost all my plush and blue. Not that it's not pretty, because it is. be able to see it but it has so much sparkle in it even my gloves are iridescent definitely a lot of iridescent so this is going to be really interesting to see how this dries so let me give this a good torch seeing a little bit of that Prussian blue come through and I could add some Prussian blue but I think I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna see how that comes out because I like it as it is. I think it's going to be really neat. And sometimes when you start messing, you know how that goes. It doesn't end up the way you thought it would and you ruin it. So I'm going to let it be. We're going to see how this dries and I'm going to get you a close up right now so that you can see it while it's wet. And then I will get you another picture of when it's dry so that you can see how it looks when it's done, because sometimes it dries completely different. So I'm real excited to see how it turns out. Okay, this was the day that I did the painting. It was blue and yellow, and it's gonna completely change because now it is purple and very iridescent and almost like mother of pearl when you set it up, very 3D, totally different. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.